you got there? A lollipop. What flavor? Orange. Well, orange is a good source of vitamin C, which is what we're going to talk about today. Catherine, take it away. That's great. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a molecular and organic compound. It contains six atoms of oxygen, six atoms of carbon, and eight atoms of hydrogen. Vitamin C comes from sources of citrus fruit like lemon, orange, grapefruit, and lime. And it also comes in apples, mangoes, strawberry, and broccoli. What is solubility, you ask? Solubility is... In water, solubility is 33 grams per 100 milliliters, and it is insoluble in diethyl ether, chloroform, benzene, petroleum ether, oils, and fats. What's the melting point, Yen? 190 to 192 degrees Celsius. Good job! Its uses are... Athorbic acid is a production of connective tissue. It is also a very powerful antioxidant that fights off damage causing free radical free radicals um, that may increase the risk of heart disease or cancer. It is also good for healthy skin, bones, teeth, and helps to heal wounds. Hey Yen, what's the state at room temperature of vitamin C? Solid? Its crystal structure is colorless, transparent, cube-like crystals. It, its appearance is, it is a white or light yellow crystalline powder. Its density is... The density of vitamin C is 1.65 grams per centimeter cubed. Hey Catherine, so how does vitamin C react to heat? It destroys under the exposure of metal, light, oxygen, and heat. So Catherine, tell me, what's the number one source of vitamin C again? Oranges. Okay. Vitamin C, vitamin C, whenever you need me I'll be vitamin C. And remember kids, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. At Looper's, Catherine, healthy cartilage <laughs> and helps to heal wounds. It contains six atoms of oxygen, six atoms of hydrogen. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but it is insoluble in diesel ether.